Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. In uh, this uh, video, I want to show you how you can configure the SSH on the Cisco router. So SSH is a secure shell and we normally use it when we want to connect remotely to the Cisco router, but also we can use it to connect remotely to any other uh, devices like Microtech or Ubiquiti or any other devices. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure that. As you can see here, we have a lab of nine pawns, but before I start doing those pawns, let's go to the lab scenario to show you what is our our scenario then I will come back to the points and start doing them. So our scenario is very simple and straightforward. I have my computer which is connected to the Cisco router and it's connected to the Cisco router on the interface fast Ethernet 0 over 0. So what I need now to do is I want to be able to connect SSH from my PC to the Cisco router. By default on Cisco SSH is disabled. So you need to enable it and you need to do some configuration to be able to work, the SSH to work. If you compare it to Microtech for example, SSH is enabled by default on Cisco, that's not the case. So the steps is that I want to put IP address on, on this interface and then I need to configure the SSH on uh, the uh, router and then I will try to connect to it from my computer to see if I can connect uh, to it on SSH. So this is what we need to do in uh, this lab. Let's go now back to the points and start doing that. Point number one, give a name to the router as R1. So let's just change the name of the router instead of being router. So now you can see the name is router. Let's change it to uh, R1. So uh, we have to call, go to the configure terminal. And here I have to say host name and R1. Point number one is done. Point number two, provide an IP address to the uh, router one of 192.168.1.1. As you can see on the picture, we have to put it on the fast Ethernet 0 over 0 because my computer is connected to that interface. And on the PC, 192.168.1.254, so it should be from the same range. Actually, on my PC, I have already put the IP, so we only need to put the IP on the router. So let's do that. We go to the router, and now, if I do, do show IP interface brief, we can see that we do have uh, different uh, interfaces. The one which my computer is connected to it is the fast Ethernet 0 over 0. So I have to go to the uh, interface. You can see at this moment, it is administratively down and the protocol is down. So this interface is down. So we have to go to the interface fast Ethernet 0 over 0. And I put an IP address to it, which is 192.168.1.1. Subnet match 255.255.255.0 and we have to not forget to say no shut down to bring it up and in a moment we should see this interface is up and now if I repeat the comment the uh, to show IP interface brief we can see that this interface now fire internet 0 over 0 has an IP it is uh, uh, up status up and protocol is up so that means the layer 2 and layer 1 they are both up. And now we have to see if my computer can reach it because we need the reachability from the computer to the Cisco router to be able to connect to it as on SSH. Point number two is done. Point number three, ping from your PC to router one. Do you have a reply? So let's open the comment uh, prompt on my computer and uh, I will try to ping to it. So this is the comment prompt and I will say ping to 192.168.1.1. And here we go, we see that we can ping the router so the, we can have reachability and that's what we need to be able to now start configuring the SSH. Point number three is done. Point number four, configure a domain name for router one as mynetwortraining.local. So why we need to configure the domain name? To configure the SSH, you require to have a domain name. But of course we have to use .local because that's a domain name that we created locally. So that's really what is required for the SSH to be configured on the router. So how to do that? We have to go to, again here, and let's go to the configure terminal. And from here I have to say IP domain. And then what you can do, you can just make question mark to see what you have to put the next comment. So IP domain name, and I will say my network training dot local. All right, so now I have created the domain and that's the first step that you need to do to configure the SSH. Port number four is done. Port number five, generate the crypto key RSA with the 1024 bits. So because SSH is uh, sending all our comments in an encrypted way and also it uses authentication, but for the encryption, then we have to generate what we call it the, the crypto key RSA. So that's really required for the SSH to work. So the difference between SSH and Telnet, both they do the same function, but SSH is secure, 
then let's send everything as planned text and that's we don't really want because in case we have any hacker in the middle then he can see the comments that we are sending to the router so let's go to router one and uh, generate those uh, keys so on router one we have to write here on the uh, we are on the config uh, mode we have to write crypto key and then you can make question mark to see what you need to write after that so crypto key and then we have to say generate our sa and then enter now you will see that uh, you have possibility that you make the key the, to be from uh, uh, 360 to 2048 bits the more you make the bits the more secure it becomes but then it, there will be more load on the router so i would advise that you don't do anything less than 1024 so 1024 and above that's fine so do not put a lot of uh, uh, now uh, pressure on the router i will make it uh, 1024 i will not go to 2048 and then enter so you see that uh, this has uh, been generated now and you will see directly that ssh 1.99 has been enabled so what does it mean here it means if i go now i say show ip ssh so you see that uh, the version now is uh, 1.99 so we have two versions uh, that we have on the cisco we have version one and version two now we need to change that and make it version two now Point number five is done. Point number six, which uh, uh, version is now router one? So we have seen that the SSH version is 1.99, so uh, one. Now we need to make it uh, version two. So let's do that. We we'll go to the router again. And over here, I have to go to configure terminal. I have to say IP SSH. And then we say version and then question mark. We have one or two. So I make two. If I do, do show IP uh, SSH so you can see now the SSH is enabled and it is on version 2 excellent so that's what we have for now Point number six is done. Point number seven, we have to make the line VTYs that we used for Telnet. We have to say that we only want to do it, for, so anyone can do only SSH. We don't want Telnet at all. All right, so that's something we have to do it now. So allow on VTY only SSH to work. All right, so to do that, we have to go again to the router and we have to write line VTY zero question mark. So let's do zero to four. And now we have to say uh, transport input SSH. If you want telnet, you can just also put next to it. You can say telnet, transport input telnet. So you can do then SSH and telnet. But I just want to say only I want to do SSH. But also I will follow with another command. So after this directly, you have to look here. We have something we call local. So if you say here local, or let's, we have to say login local. Yeah, login and then local. So what does it mean here, login local on the line VTY 0 to 4? That means that once someone wants to connect to SSH, he has to put the username and the password. And the username and the password that he has to put it to connect to SSH to the router should be local on the router. So that means the router store the username and password. So what that means what? That means I need to create now a username and password. So that's what it's saying here. If you want, I can just say here, do show run do show run and uh, let's look what we have made on the uh, line vty so we go down so here you can see line vty 0 to 4 login local and transport input ssh so only the uh, ssh is possible and uh, if someone wants to log into the ssh has to put the username and password that i'm going now to create it on the router point number seven is done point number eight create a privilege 15 account to be logging in as SSH to the router. So we have to create an account and this account we have to give him a privilege 15. On Cisco privilege 15, that's the maximum privilege you can have. So you have to think of it like admin when you are on the Microtech or you have to think of it like administrator on the Windows. So that means you can do anything. So anyone who uh, has this username and password that I'm creating, he will be logging into the router as privilege 15 and he can do anything. So let's uh, create this account so we go to the router and now on the config terminal also i have to say username and uh, we have to put a, a username we create an, uh, a username let's make it simple admin because that's a test and then here we have to say privilege 
15. So this guy has privilege 15. Password, also let's make it simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Please don't use those uh, easy way to guess your username and password. But just because it's a lab, I just want to show you how you can create it. So username admin, privilege 15, password 123456. So now when we want to connect SSH to the router, we should put those username and password to be able to get connected SSH to the router. And then I will click enter. So that's it. Port number eight is done. So believe it or not, we have just finished the configuration of the SSH on the Cisco router. Now we need to try to see if we can connect to it from the computer using the software which is putty it's a free word software you can download it from the internet and uh, yeah you can uh, use it to connect ssh so connect from putty ssh to router one is it successful so let's do that this is putty you can see it it's just a small software you just double click on it over here you put 192.168.1.1 that's the ip of the router here you click on ssh by default it's ssh port 22 that's the default port of ssh and then all you need to do is to say open. So you can see that the, here you are exchanging, this is the keys for RSA that we have created. So here you have to say yes. Login, admin, password, one, two, three, four, five, six, enter. And here we go. We are inside the router now. So just to show you, if I go to configure terminal and let's change the name. So let's do it hostname R2. And if we go now, to the uh, where I was here and I click enter look the name has changed directly to R2 so you have the full privilege you can do anything you want and that's how you can connect SSH to the Cisco router point number nine is done and uh, with this point I have showed you how you can configure SSH on the Cisco router and uh, what are the steps that you need to go through and then we have tested and we have seen that it's working perfectly without any problem so this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this video and if you want to learn more things uh, please go to my website which is uh, uh, mynetworktraining.com I do have a lot of online courses over there but also have a blogging post where I put a lot of posts for free you can just read them and then you can profit from the knowledge that I'm sharing over there so I hope that uh, this video was informative for you and I will see you in some other videos